Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief WikiBits video about William Harvey. William Harvey, April 1, 1578 to June 3, 1657, was an English physician who made seminal contributions in anatomy and physiology. He was the first known physician to describe completely and in detail the systemic circulation and properties of blood being pumped to the brain and body by the heart. The earlier writers, such as Rayaldo Colombo, Michael Servetus, and Jacques Dubois, had provided precursors of the theory. Harvey's initial education was carried out in Folkestone, where he learned Latin. He then entered the King's School at Canterbury. Harvey stayed at the King's School for five years, after which he matriculated at Thabil and Keyes College in Cambridge in 1593, graduating as a Bachelor of Arts from Keyes in 1597. After graduation, Harvey traveled through France and Germany to Italy where he entered the University of Padua in 1599. Harvey graduated as a doctor of medicine at the age of 24 from the University of Padua on April 25, 1602, after which he immediately returned to England, obtaining the degree of doctor of medicine from the University of Cambridge that same year. On February 3, 1618, King James I appointed Harvey as physician extraordinary. In 1628 he published in Frankfurt his completed treatise on the circulation of the blood. The Demotic Cordis. The 72-page book contains the matured account of the circulation of the blood. Opening with a dedication to King Charles I, the Corto has 17 chapters that give a perfectly clear and connected account of the action of the heart and the consequent movement of the blood around the body in a circuit. Demotic Cordis also provided a detailed analysis of the overall structure of the heart and an analysis of the arteries, showing how their pulsation depends upon the contraction of the left ventricle while the contraction of the right ventricle propels its charge of blood into the pulmonary artery. As a result of negative comments by other physicians Harvey fell mightily in his practice, but continued advancing his career. At the age of 52, Harvey received commands by the king to accompany the Duke of Lennox during his trip abroad. Having returned to England in 1632, Harvey accompanied King Charles I wherever he went as physician in ordinary. In particular, Charles's hunting expeditions gave Harvey access to many deer carcasses, it was upon these that Harvey made many observations and consequent theories. The conflicts of the Civil War soon led King Charles to Oxford, with Harvey attending, where the physician was made Doctor of Physic in 1642 and later Warden of Merton College in 1645. Harvey eventually returned to London, and lived with his brothers Eliab and Daniel at different periods. Having retired from St. Bartholomew's Hospital and his various other aforementioned positions, he passed most of this time reading general literature. Harvey died at Roehampton in the house of his brother Eliab on June 3, 1657. Descriptions of the event seem to show that he died of a cerebral hemorrhage from vessels long injured by gout. Harvey was buried in Hampstead, Essex. More than 200 years later, on October 18, 1883, Harvey's remains were reinterred. The leaden case carried from the vault by eight fellows of the College of Physicians, and deposited in a sarcophagus containing his works and an inscription. In 1973 the William Harvey Hospital was constructed in the town of Ashford, a few miles from his birthplace of Folkestone. Well my friends, I hope you have enjoyed this brief video about William Harvey. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivents.